Clay County polls are open to decide who will win a Missouri Senate seat. This is a special election to fill the seat vacated by Republican Ryan Silvey, who was appointed to the Missouri Public Service Commission. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial live at a polling spot this morning with more on why this race is so important to both political parties. Stephen, this race is getting nasty. Oh, yes, a lot of nasty attack ads on both sides. Uh, in this race, we've been seeing it all week and four weeks. We're here at the Northland Cathedral polling precinct, and while turnout is expected to be low across the county, we've seen a steady stream of voters coming in this early. I mean, a lot of people even waiting at the door to come in when the polls open at 6 a.m. So let's meet the candidates. Representative Lauren Arthur and Representative Kevin Corlew both came into office in 2014, and they're vying for that vacant Senate. Seat. Education is especially in school funding is a focal point for both of these candidates. Uh, Arthur grew up in the Northland, returned as a middle school teacher. She now serves as a regional director for the Urban Leadership Fellowship, a policy program for professionals looking to accelerate their leadership skills. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Republican candidate, Kevin Corlew, he's an attorney who specializes in business litigation, but he also served on the Board of Education for the North Kansas City School District. Corlew has heavy backings from the business community including an endorsement from the Missouri Chamber of Commerce. Now, like we mentioned at the beginning of this, a lot of money has been spent on this ad, hundreds of thousands of dollars in negative ads on both sides, uh, ads against Corlew connecting him to now former Governor Eric Greitens and ads alleging that uh, Lauren Arthur is associated with uh, illegal immigrants. So a lot of back and forth. And this morning and all day, the candidates will have a final say We'll have a full recap tonight on 41 Action News for now. Reporting live, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News Today.